Tempting to see cheesecake and to buy some pastries here. They all look fantastic, don't they? And yeah, my aim today is to buy some healthy ingredients for uh, dairy sugar gluten free pizza, homemade. So there is one section only for gluten free, dairy free, and potentially also sugar free. And here we go. This one fits a dough. See? And I'm trying to buy some, um, uh, what's it called, um, pepperoni for my pepperoni pizza, but I don't know what to choose. How do you guys cook um, pizza at home, make pizza at home? I have no idea uh, which one is the best. Salami. By the way, it's actually quite, the price wise is actually um, more than similar if you make um, this uh, homemade pizza and then to buy Domino or pizza, uh, what's it called, the pizza. Pizza Express as well, and there is a, a manka for pizza manka. Price is actually a more or less broadly the same. One pizza down, two um, sets of this salami, and £12.17. Mm. I'm on my way to the gym. After my work, um, it's on Friday. Well, the happiest day ever, I think, for all the people around the world. Friday, you know, work is done, your time begins. So, I'll take you around to the gym. I just finished my gym time in the evening. It's now um, 10 to 9. Um, I think I spent almost two and a half hours in the gym. Exercise, running, uh, swimming and sauna. Uh, the facility is not that fancy but it has everything. Gym, swimming pool, sauna, uh, salon, spa experience if you want fancy is doing that. Um, so I'm now heading back home. I am planning to make a homemade pizza and watch the um, Korean drama called Pachinko Season 2 uh, which is now being broadcast in the Apple TV. I'm very excited because that's the last episode and I have been watching this drama since 2022 and I'm jolly excited. I'm back home and I'm trying to make a pizza. Salame dal tuffo, tomato, lacto free cheese, and tuna, and kitchen foil. My mummy always told me the, uh, the silver kitchen foil is very healthy for, uh, unhealthy for our body, but I wasn't really able to bother myself to come, you know, again out to be tested and buy another foil. Um, so let's try.
I made a mistake. Tomato should be below the salami. No. The salami should be below. I don't know. Anyhow, the taste might be the same more or less. Uh, uh, I think so, right? Okay. Great. Ta da! Making pizza at home. Ta da! This is the final result of baking pizza at home. So the tuna, salami, tomato, and cheese, lacto free cheese, and this is also sugar lacto free um, pizza dough, which seems. Mmm, smells actually also very nice. Oh, it's so tempting. I forgot bring my seam suit. Oh, blimey. my short memory. I finished my um, morning exercise. I think I was in the gym like around one and a half hours, including sound and shower. Now I'm, I'm on my way to see my friend for brunch at St. John's Wood. She booked a brunch cafe, so I'm going there. It takes about uh, 20 minutes from here and it's not very sunny, but rather agreeable weather uh, in standards in London, I think. So um, let's see. But broadly speaking about uh, we're about to leave in London, uh, coming from Seoul, South Korea, but my, my uh, upbringing is more bit of a slightly uh, countryside outskirt of Seoul. So I actually uh, love to live in a green space like this. So in London, those places are usually um, postcode with beginning with NW, Northwest, namely Hampstead, um, Premier's Hill, Bell Science Park, Swiss Cottage, St. John's Wood. These areas are very leafy residential areas, London. Of course, very expensive. Um, fairly, I'd say fairly homogeneous society because most of the residents are whites, British whites. And the ambience, I'd say, increasingly a bit, a bit insecure nowadays. But broadly speaking, it's it's not that dangerous place to live in London. It's a very nice area to live. It's always uh, very refreshing and rewarding to do exercise in the morning and kick off your day on the weekends because I feel I, I do more, become more productive and um, what can I say more? Uh, As you can see, this is the area. Um, voila. Uh, say very um, well. Oh, sorry, I say safe, but maybe not that safe. Very leafy, and um, I have to take a certain extent. It's rather look at that. It's rather posh as well. Well, I'm not posh at all. But, well, they are pushed very much, I assume. Really love the area to leave, and it's a great place. Um, not only for solo professionals living alone, but also for the families. Welcome to the St. John's Hood. Uh, the area, I feel, comprises of an awful lot of uh, many courts like that. Well, there's not really a very fancy court, but... Um, many nice um, fancy courts up in there uh, very residential very green and very calm for instance the name of that building is uh, Eamon Court in UK in London I think people use the term court to refer to the apartments in in USA 
or in Korea. I don't know why they use court, but Enya is called court here. It looks nice, doesn't it? This is a court, right? Oh. Very expensive. But I'm sure you and your boyfriend can buy that. Right? Twenty seven point no six point four pounds. Very nice. Ah, this is sushi. Then you can come and collect it on the day. Okay. Yeah, and how much is it? Okay. Approximately from 7580. Correct. Yeah. I bought these two one pair of these two plants. Actually, I did have a voucher which was 12 pounds. And uh, um, the lady there wanted me to, you know, spend out everything. I mean, literally twelve pounds um, before the, um, you know, turning to 2025 because she didn't want to carry over the credit. Um, so I took these two. Um, I felt she was a bit, so I'd say unkind, you. but yeah, not really friendly um, like, because I didn't want to carry. Because I wanted to carry over the credit and then she didn't want to, which was um, actually not really um, client oriented from my point of view. Ta da! New tenants in my flat. 
these species are called uh, cyclamen. It's perennial. It usually blossoms in autumn and lasts for six to eight weeks. I bought these um, one white and one red. And as you can see, there are, you know, small um, sprouts, which I expect about to blossom. Well, under the condition that I, I foster them rather well with our care and attention. I will update how they are blossoming and, um, well, all my attention and care for the next six to eight weeks will be, you know, spare for them.